Um, Osleda Madero. Please state your name. I'll hear what you uh, have to say. things been shared with you. Can you uh, help me as to what it is being I just had a chance to glance at these first thing today. They did me three copies, so um, I believe that what I, what I remember seeing was um, something from Facebook discussing the number of signatures that had been uh, produced as to support of Mr. Madero. And then it, uh, some credit card bills, I believe that it's going to be discussed by a couple members of his family. Copy for you to share with uh, I will. people. I will. reviewed the maps. Thank you. Lorena has here.
Antonio Moreno, man. Ante todo, buenas tardes a usted, señor juez, y a todas las personas. Before Caen anything else, uh, good afternoon, judge, and good afternoon to everybody who is here present in this courtroom. Desde lo más profundo de mi corazón, antes de todo, mi condolencia para esa familia que por ese accidente perdieron la familia. And from the bottom of my heart, I would like to, before I say anything else, express my uh, true remorse uh, to all of the victims of this accident and for all of those who lost family members as a result of it. And, and please confirm, Antonio Moreno. Is it the Antonio Moreno, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yo sé que todas las personas de aquí de esta sala tenemos hermanos y yo soy el hermano de Rojo Ignacio Aguilera Medero. Ok, so I know that all the people here in this courtroom have brothers and I am the brother of Lázaro Aguilera Mederos. Sin ofender las familias de nadie, pero yo creo que ese es uno de los mejores hermanos que he conocido en mi vida y una de las mejores personas que he conocido en mi vida. Nosotros tenemos hijos chiquitos. Nosotros somos buenas personas. Vinimos a este país, a esta gran nación, a trabajar y a, la, y, y a ser una mejor persona cada día. Nosotros amamos a este país. So I don't want to offend any of the families here, but this is the best brother anybody could have. He is the best person I know. We both have small children and we are good people. Uh, we came to this great nation in order to work and we love this nation. Señor, no me encuentro nervioso, me encuentro emocionado por el gran trabajo que ha hecho usted Señor, porque realmente usted ha sido la persona que ha llevado todo esto a cabo justamente. Señor, le estoy agradecido con su buen y hermoso trabajo y su decisión será la más correcta, Señor. Esto. Que Dios nos bendiga. So I am not nervous. I am very excited because of the great job that you did, Judge. I, um, I think that you were the person that handled all of this situation, and I think that you did everything in a very fair manner. I am very thankful for the wonderful and beautiful job that you did, and I know that you will be making the right decision. God bless you. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Oscar Riolova. Good afternoon. say that I am 26 years old and I have known him since I was four years old. We come from the same town, from the same city in Cuba, 
and he is more to me than my own family. I don't have any family here, and he's been there for me in my worst moments. I trust that you will make the right decision, and I'm also uh, very sorry for the people that lost family members in this accident. I am also a truck driver, and I know that when you're handling 80,000 pounds of cargo, you can't stop the trailer. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And that is all. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Daniel Lavatida. So I just came to this courtroom because I am also a truck driver and I don't know what to tell you but I've known this family since I was born and I've been uh, with them and they are more than my family. If you want to know a good person, all you have to do is to look at him. This is a young kid that would donate to people that had cancer. And I would like to apologize to the people that lost family members because we didn't want that to happen. Y vine hoy precisamente para ver qué es lo que sucede cuando un camionero tiene un accidente. And I am a truck driver and I came here today to see what would happen to a truck driver that was in an accident. Muchas personas no conocen la responsabilidad que tiene un camionero. A lot of people are not aware of the responsibility that a truck driver has. Y el día de hoy llegué para saber qué es lo que sucede cuando uno tiene un accidente para yo retirarme y entregar mi licencia. And I am here to see what would happen if somebody had an accident and ready to turn in my license myself. Es todo, señor. Gracias. That is all, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, I'm not going to get that is it.